To do Just that. quickly, um, Russia's also threatened uh, nuclear escalation. Are you comfortable with that when people at home are watching this, worrying that you could put us in ri at risk? Well, it's very nuclear important. War? It's very important that we're steadfast in our support for Ukraine. Russia is the aggressor. Uh, Even and if Russia, unleashes nuclear war? Russia uh, has to be the one that makes the move to stop this war. It's within their gift. But we must support Ukraine. It's impacting not just Ukraine, it's impacting the rest of the is world, your, including the UK. Is your message but, to viewers back home that there will not be a nuclear war? Because that is what Russia is threatening. My message is that we need to ensure that Ukraine is put in the best possible position. This is a thousand days of conflict uh, and there is a very high cost if Russian aggression is seen to pay off. So that was a video uh, in which Beth Rigby, the Sky News reporter, repeatedly asked Keir Starmer about the threat of nuclear war with Russia and he just brushed it off as if it was nothing. Now I'm old enough to remember that uh, I mean really I'm not old enough to remember I grew up in the 1980s um, you know I was a kid in the 1980s and really I was a teenager in the 1990s and we had the kind of residual aftermath of the great scare of the you know the, uh, the prospect of nuclear war you know people uh, people are uh, being told to go into their bunkers and you know what would happen if you know, that was kind of Cold War stuff. A little bit before my time. But I remember, we, we, you know, seeing stuff from it, you know, when I was growing up, you know, or stuff from that era. And really, the thing that is burned into my memory is this scene here from Terminator 2, uh, wherein, um, you know, we... I mean, I was just terrified of the prospect of nuclear bombs after seeing this scene from Terminator 2. Uh, that, that is the thing that has stayed with me. Um, and obviously, we, you know, you learn about Hiroshima and Nagasaki and so on. Well, anyway, uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking a rather unusual uh, tack on this question. There used to be a guy who posted here fairly regularly. He's been banned by me now. Uh, but for many, many years, whenever nuclear bombs would come up, there was a guy called Martin Webb. And he'd be like, oh, well, the thing is, nu nukes are fake, nukes are fake. Come and watch my playlist about how nuclear bombs are fake. And as everybody knows, I don't have a lot of time for conspiracy theories. Don't go in for all of it. But, you know, he persisted for so long and, for, uh, and it was so consistent in this pattern that one night I actually, you know, went and watch the playlist it was the usual conspiracy stuff oh look you know how is the camera here or if you look at it from this angle it's edited or this footage is fake or they got an explanation of everything basically okay and i thought well the thing is you know yeah 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 but it, all conspiracies are, are like this and you know th this guy says this but then the establishment says that blah 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 so anyway that was the end of it but then I remember one night I was at an event and there was a good buddy of mine, Panama House, and we got talking one night about, well, the thing is with nuclear weapons, can they ever actually be used, right? Can, like, there is this calculus now that um, basically whoever uses the nuke first also loses because they turn the entire world against them in an instant, okay? And... Uh, the reason I put Putin on the cover is that, of course, this is currently relevant because every once in a while, Putin has been reminding everybody, much like Gandhi from Sid Meier's Civilization, he's been like, a reminder, people, my words are backed by nuclear weapons. And as we saw from Keir Starmer there, the Western powers don't seem to take this seriously. And I've been reading kind of mainstream media accounts of this and they're just like, oh, well, the thing is, Putin's never going to use his nukes because he knows that as soon as he does that, he unites global opinion against him. And, you know, anyone who thought it was his friend would turn against him in an instant because, you know, he used the nuke. Therefore, it's an auto loss. Therefore, Putin is bluffing. Therefore, you know, we can just carry on as if he's not going to use the nukes. OK, well, this introduces quite a few strange 
elements. Because if nukes are real, but cannot be used, then they might as well be fake, since no one will ever know if you have them for sure or not. And it doesn't actually matter, because it is assumed that you will never actually use them. So, do does Britain, for example, have nukes or not? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, when I uh, spoke to someone about this the other day, they said, well, you know, the best policy for Trident would be to tell everybody that we've got it, but actually not to spend any money on it whatsoever, because how is any, anybody ever going to find out? <laughs> um, so then there's a, now there's a further question. If it is the case that, if this is the case, that they, they just can't be used because it's an also loss, or why is nobody at all behaving as if nukes are real? As we saw with Keir Starmer, he's not behaving as if nukes are real. We've seen since the Ukraine conflict started, um, idiots in America like Lindsey Graham screaming that to start nuclear war. The whole purpose of nukes was meant to be that they are a, are a deterrent, that nobody would actually attack a nuclear power. right? And this is, this is the ultimate deterrent of a nuke, right? That, that because you have them, and because of the mad doctrine, mutually assured destruction, nobody would be mad enough to actually attack a nuclear power. But right now, Britain and America are arming Ukraine to attack a nuclear power, Russia. Ukraine are attacking a nuclear power. And yet, uh, everybody is just assuming that nukes will not be used here. So, nukes are not fulfilling their historical function as the ultimate deterrent. Nobody believes it. Nobody believes that, that Putin will use it. Everybody says he's bluffing. So, even if they're real, but can't be used, it results in the fact that everybody behaves as if they're fake anyway. To me, this is, a par to me, this is bizarre. This is a paradox. If you say... Don't you dare do that. I am back with nuclear weapons. This is the ultimate deterrent. This is sovereign territory. You attack me, I will nuke you. And then you ignore that threat and you attack that power anyway. And then that power does not use nukes. Then nukes might as well not be real. Tell me why I'm wrong. The usual reason given that nukes can't be used, as I just mentioned, is that it would turn the entire world against you. But we actually have a case in North Korea where the entire world is already against North Korea. Everybody hates North Korea. Everybody sees North Korea as being the most isolated country in the world and as a byword for evil. And yet, it still doesn't use its nukes. It claims to have them, Everybody said, oh, by the way, North Korea is a nuclear power now, but it doesn't use it. So anyway, I've never really got to the bottom of this. I don't really understand how it, um, how it came to pass that we went from being absolutely terrified at the prospect of nuclear war in the 1970s and even in the 1990s, it being kind of burned into my brain that this is the ultimate terrible thing that could possibly happen, the nuclear, the nuclear fallout, you know? Um, the, the apocalypse brought about by nuclear Armageddon. That was buried into all of our brains. And yet now you've got basically nuclear war being threatened and nobody cares. Absolutely nobody cares. From our leaders and media analysts and, you know, pundits and basically nobody acts as if this is happening. Nobody acts as if it could happen. We're just going to keep on accelerating with the nuclear power. I'd love to, to for some military strategist to explain to me what the hell's going on here, because I just do not understand it. And that's why I'm calling this video the nuclear bomb paradox, because... Even though it's outlandish and stupid and conspirit conspiratarded to believe that nukes are fake. Basically everybody's saying that nuclear bombs can never actually be used. Therefore they might as well be fake. 
therefore we can ignore them as a deterrent we can ignore them as a threat and carry on having conventional wars with nuclear powers is that what is happening because it looks like to me that looks like what is happening right here so i'd love to know the answer anyway uh, the comment should be fun for this one currently got a 25 percent off sale at the academic agency promo code merit i let jordan peterson play us out pick up a course now just a few days left on that sale and i'll see you tomorrow merit pure merit such merit 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 If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can join the channel for thousands of hours of past shows in the archive and hundreds of videos. If you have any questions, you can leave a super chat or a super thanks, and I'll be sure to pick it up during my weekly office hours, which run every Tuesday afternoon. I also provide courses at the academic agency, which I encourage people to buy. Thousands of students now have taken the trivium to improve their skills in writing, logic and rhetoric. Just three of many courses available. Buy it now. But most importantly of all, friends, get out.